Guys, welcome back to the channel. S here from SNA's Organite Creations. In this video here, we're going to be doing um, tricyclian copper cores. We're going to be showing you how to make them, and we're going to be going over um, the benefits because you, when you cut this at a specific measurement, the specific length, your copper wire, it adds healing benefits. Okay, now I'm going to run over that first, and um, yeah, then we'll get into making it. And if you don't know what it is, now it's actually the copper coil there in that special configuration, the tricyclian. Um, that has benefits by itself. It doesn't have to be cut at a specific measurement, but when you do, like we do at a specific measurement, it adds healing benefits, okay? And that's what I'm gonna be going over. Maybe in another video, I'll go over um, the triskelion in its, the way it's configured, and uh, what that actually does, like structures water, it's known to structure water and stuff like that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you know what the actual measurement is that we use um yeah the length the benefits of that and uh, we're going to get into how to make it and i'm going to show you in this video how to actually make them okay so i will be reading off i've got some notes here so don't mind me looking down but um yeah all right so the specific length what you need um it's called the sacred or the lost cubit measurement and that is uh, a measurement of 54 sorry it's 52.4 centimeters. All right, so I don't know what that is in inches, but uh, that's what you need to work with, okay, and get down to specifics and cut that measurement, okay, to get these benefits. All right, so that specific length, because any bit of wire, let me explain, any bit of wire cut to a specific length uh, will pick up that band or that frequency of, um, or picks up this etheric energy, all right? So, and this, this measurement, um, if you know Slim Sperling's work, he created the tensor ring, uh, many other um, specific coils and configurations, and he uses certain measurements. Now, this measurement is found in the, um, the king's chamber in the Pyramid of Giza, all right, and it's what the Egyptians used. So, if you don't know by now, the Egyptian pyramids are basically like a, um, a, uh, like a powerhouse, um, power factory or something like, um, what am I trying to say? Power plant. That one. Um, the way they're made with the stuff they are made, a lot of granite, a lot of quartz, creating a lot of piezoelectricity in the pyramid shape with specific measurements. Um, yeah, you have, you're generating power there, all right? You're putting out scalar waves, scalar fields, a vortex out the tip. You're doing all that stuff, and we we do all that stuff with our organite, okay? All right, so this specific measurement of 52.4 centimeters, um, it works on the physical aspects of life. All right, so what does that mean? Um, it can assist you physical like uh, pain, stuff like that. So it is good for pain. Now it does, it helps materialize ideas and attracts abundance. All right, so it's really good for meditation. If, you, if you're into that, um, yeah, that's just gonna be a big help. If you have that, maybe in a pendant, on a charge plate, in a pyramid, you can sit down with your pyramid with a triskelion in it. Or it doesn't have to be a triskelion, it can just be a normal SVB copper coil or tester coil. As long as the wire is cut to that length, that measurement, as mentioned before. Um, yeah, like I was saying, it works well against pain. Um, now, it does connect. It connects you to the earth and helps with grounding, okay? It helps keep you grounded and connecting to earth, all right? The physical aspects of life, yes? Um, now it does work well, it works extremely well at eliminating unhealthy energy fields. So things like your EMF, Wi-Fi, 5G, it neutralizes Wi-Fi radiation, okay? Um, and not only that, it also works well, it works perfectly against a polluted environment. So people that are doing, if they know what they're doing and they're adding these specific measurements into their organite or um, copper coils or whatever and you've got it outside it's going to help with the environment as well as inside and it goes with um, you know your Wi-Fi and things like that all your electrical components all your smart technology inside and it does work with that so any polluted environment any unhealthy energy no matter what that might be it works against that it balances it out it changes it all right so that's what that is that's what we put well we use that measure we don't only use this um, coil only can but we use that measurement with all of our coil designs okay it doesn't have to be triskelion it can be SBB um, the Tesla coils 
um, or whatever, okay? As long as you use that length. Now, what we're gonna go ahead and do is get into me showing you how to make it, okay? So I'm gonna flop this screen down. And for example, this copper coil in here uses that measurement, okay? Um, this here is a different, this is a George Lukowski and um, helped design well, this antenna, and with the help of Nikola Tesla, they designed this, okay? Now, this is based on the same sort of principle. See, picture this, like, because it's an, it's not a complete ring. It's an open circuit going one way, and then the other way, and then the other way, and it's... The measurement of that, picture it as a copper wire. It's at a certain length, all right? And it acts like an antenna. It picks up this cosmic, cosmic life force um, energy, organ energy, scalar wave, whatever you want to call it, this beneficial energy. It picks it up like an antenna. The same thing as a piece of wire now. <clears throat> piece of wire. Cut to the right measurement, okay? Which is 52.4 centimeters, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make this tri-scaling copper coil that I've showed you that's in here in the center, okay? So if you're still with me right now, um, you'll get to see how it's made. So what we wanna do is fold it in half, but not exactly in half, okay? Um, you have to do it so you got about this much room to play with, okay? You know, just a little bit, all right? So it doesn't have doesn't matter if it's heaps accurate. Just make sure that one end is bigger than the other, all right? So about yay. Now what I do is I just pull that down there so it's more bent and creased, okay? Um, I realise I've forgotten something, an essential tool, and I will be back in two seconds. Essential tool needed, okay? You can just use uh, needle nose pliers. This is just a small, cheapy thing. You don't need expensive ones, but okay, as we are, as we were. All right, so one end is longer. Sorry about the camera. So one end is longer, yes? Now, all you gotta do is get your pliers and put it in the bottom or wherever you're at, in there, in that crease, down the base. All right, I'll show you what it looks like a bit better. I like to keep it right at the tip like that on the tip here and as you can see this is the front all right now with this here what you're going to do is bend one way wire one way i'll show you in a sec what it looks like sorry um camera's not very good and one the other way and what you're going to be left with is an s-like figure see that all right it focuses kind of focuses so you, you picture of an s all right, now what I like to do is, cause um, it's gone this way, so, whoop, camera over there. So we're gonna curl it this way here. So I like the wire to be curled the way I'm gonna be rotating it. One way is fine, like one side is fine, it already wants to naturally curl that way, and one way is not. So, so what we do, and you wanna create the S pattern in there. So I like to pull it tightly, Around, it's gonna focus or what camera? Camera's not very good. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so you can see what I've done. I've pulled it tightly around the uh, the ply sort of things, creating a nice S pattern. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just continue that around. So you grab your wire and you bend that around. I'll show you what it looks like in a sec. And what we're doing here, just bear with me. So we'll just bend it a little bit, a little ways. All right. So what I like to do now is to remove the pliers. Now this can be somewhat a little bit tricky. You just gotta you know work it off because we've done it tightly around the end those pliers, but it will come off. All right. So now we've got that. It doesn't matter which way you're doing it. Well, you know it doesn't matter which way as long as you keep going the same way um, that it's bending. All right. So what we're going to do, let's continue just a little bit more, just a little bit more, just bend your wire. Doesn't matter what wire you got, uh, what gauge or whatever, as long as you can work with it, and you can just use your pliers and do this, whatever, but I like to do it by hand because of the pliers, um, it nicks up the, the wire, it makes it look ugly. Alright, so 
at this point here, you don't need to go far with it. What we want to do is work with these other ends now, okay? So, if you flip this over, now what we're going to be doing is getting the pliers, putting it here, and rolling it up, okay? So what you don't want to do is make it <coughs> so, let's see if I can get this going. So, if you stick the plier here, you don't want to roll it up this way. You want to roll it up this way, both of them, okay? Because if you roll it this way, under, it's going to end up, yeah, you don't want to roll it under, all right? You want to roll it up, all right? So let me just show you what that's like, and hopefully you'll understand what I'm talking about. So I like to, once again, clamp it right at the tip, like that. So this is all we're doing. Clamp it at the tip, and we want to roll it up, okay? And you just roll it around the tip of your pliers. All right, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, see this? So at this point here, depending if you can work with it by hand or not, I like to remove the wire now, or the, um, the pliers now, okay? Now I do bend this to make sure it's straight in line. Try to get this as straight as I can. See the coil straight, this coil straight. Now, with the end that we just did, Continue rolling that up by hand, all right? This is all you gotta do, and this is easier because it's just, just straightforward, all right? You don't wanna do it all the way, I just roughly know where, so you'll have to play with this. Now, I know that is not too bad, all right, size-wise. All right, so what we're gonna do is do the same with the other one, okay? And once again, <clears throat> you wanna roll this knot this way this time i'll do further away i'll do it like this so you can see it so you do not want to go like this and roll it this way because then you're going to have it like weird there you want to go this way i know i said the top before because it was facing this way here okay so <clears throat> you don't want to fold it up on itself if you understand what i mean so if you fold it this way underneath you're going to fold it up on itself you want to fold it away and I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It's kind of hard for me to explain, but um, <clears throat> once you do a couple of these, guys, if you've never done one before, you're not going to get it probably perfect as you want it on the first go. It's just not going to happen. I've been doing this for a long time, okay? So I know what the goal is. And it doesn't look like it would be very hard, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist as well. And the quality of my stuff that I sell on Etsy and you know, around the place, I want it to be good. I want the quality to be there, to be there, and uh, I want it to be better looking than other people's. But not only that, the most important thing is that it's functional and it works, all right? Hence why we cut this at a specific measurement and I'm very specific about what goes in our organized creations and how powerful they are, okay? Everything's gotta work. I will do a video one day and the specifics on how these things work. All right, so now we're back up to this here. So we're done, whoop, that was really wobbly. So we've done this. This is the other end that we just did. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing and you just grab it and roll it up. All right, it's very simple. We just grab it, roll it up. <coughs> now I'll look roughly about the same size as the other side that we did. So if you look at that, Looks pretty accurate, doesn't it? Not too bad. A bit of a loose section in there that doesn't matter, but that does get that does do my head in actually. <laughs> but what can you do on this one? <clears throat> it's just gonna have to do. So now we'll start working on this S pattern, and we're gonna bring them up to around this size, these ones, and see where we're at. All right, and go from there. So. Once again, you're just rolling them up, okay? I like to do them um, one at a time like that as you go around. Bring them together at the same time. So they're always sort of like together like that. You can see the size comparison is getting roughly the same as each other. So we'll do a little bit more turn here like that. Now we can reevaluate it. Now, this, the S side is a bit bigger. So what we're gonna do is start rolling up these other ones, all right? 
So one at a time, roll it up and roll up the other one. And you get a feel for it and then you're going by size, all right? It's starting to look good in it. And what you can do, you can neaten this up a little. Like you can see how they're a bit sloppy here. Sorry, I'm not keeping this in the middle of the camera. I'm doing the best I can. It's a bit weird, me filming like this actually. Because I'm focusing more on what I'm doing here, not what's happening on the camera. Um, but this is not looking too bad actually. All right, this is what I've got. So it's essentially, they're all, they're all gonna turn out differently. They're never gonna be the same. All right, so this is what we've got. All right, same? About the same, all right, so. This is basically what you want, okay? More specifically, you want that, um, you want that measurement in there, all right? Now the configuration here, is the triskelion copper coil. It is, oh, I think I forgot a point on here, eh? Um, but it does work well with structuring water, all right? I believe this measurement works well with structuring water. Not only that, the triskelion copper coil in the configuration works well at structuring water. Now, that's why I like to put them in charge plates because people can put their food, their water, um, this is what we do with this here. We put a large picture. If you see my other videos, um, put you can put a large picture of water on these and stuff like that. It's going to help structure your water. There's a lot of goodies in here, Shanghai, and how organized it's supposed to be made. Very, very fine metal particles, along other stuff, secret ingredients that we do not get into. <laughs> and our ratios we keep because we know what works. Um, uh, where was that? But these here. Um, Works on the physical and stuff like that. Everything that I mentioned before, but these here will be really good and a pendant. If you guys ever want custom orders, you can go ahead and email us. It will be in the description. Um, or you can send us a message on Etsy requesting something like this, okay? Because we can put this in a pendant. All right. The pendant size will be a little bit different. Sorry, it's a little bit... Uh, I don't know if it'll focus. There you go. Uh, it's pendant size will be a little bit different. We can do it, though. Um, yeah, I will go ahead and pause. Yeah, so that is a little bit about these here triskelion copper cores. Now, the reason why I'm making this video today is to give you a little bit of information about them. Um, not only that, just talk about these um, um, drink bottles that we're making. So, we've got, we've got another shipment, got another order. Of drink bottles coming so they do cost a little bit but um, obviously we sell them we load them up with organite and sell them uh, we do need to make a profit but we're trying to make them as cheap as we can for you guys but um, these here go in there okay and it's very very important uh, because not only will you have um, fully functional organite putting out this a scalar field that's protecting you um, you know uh, in today's environment, if you you know take your drink bottle anywhere with you, that's what they're designed for in the office, anywhere where you work, um, just at home, doesn't matter. Like it's going to protect you, keep it with you. Um, it's going to structure your water and add healing benefits to your water, just as the homeopathy of the water. And um, not only that, um, makes it more hydrating for you. Okay, so this is known. Um, when you structure water, it's called, I think it's the fourth phase of water. Uh, there might even be a fifth phase, but um, yeah, you can research that. There's a lot of research on this. Um, Dancing with Water, I've done research on this, the triskelion copper coil. Brian Bisco uh, from twistedsage.com, he does a lot of these here, the Hennekes, or the triskelions, um, the, uh, all the elementals, um, coils as an elemental, cut at this measurement as well. Um, he knows his stuff, believe me, he does a lot of tensor rings, stuff like that, it's like Slim Sperling's work. Um, yeah, there's a lot of aspects to these and they are beneficial. Um, we sell these actually as a pendant itself. So right this here, we use thicker, heavier gauge and it is harder to bend so they last, like they don't just bend easy on you or whatever. We actually put a necklace cord like what I'm wearing straight on this and it's just a dangly piece of copper wire. 
Um, but it works on, you know, like I said before, it works on the aspect of the physical um, structures, water. We are mostly made up of water, so it's beneficial to have near you, near your body. All right. It's going to protect you as well. EMF, radiation does that because of the length. All right. So many, many, many healing aspects of this, this coil and in this length added to Organite. Now you're really boosting everything and the way Organite works and how we make it. Um, it's not like these fake Organite that's out there. They are everywhere. And quite frankly, they are junk, bullshit. They look really pretty, but they ain't going to work properly. I'm telling you. Might do another video on that too because it sickens me. You see it everywhere. People are buying them, people are loving them, but they don't do anything. They're a pretty ornamental, that's it. All right. Um, but that's it, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for sticking around and uh, watching the tutorial. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.